Hello, in this video I will show you how easy it is to create a vault and use it for encryption keys and storing secrets in OCI. Click on menu, go to identity and security and click on vault. After you've been redirected to the vault page, you can click on the question mark and you can go and open your new page, Yeah, the vault service description. Now why I'm showing you this is because you need to connect uh, to your OCI environment and before creating the OCI vault you need to have the proper policies in place okay so in here just to do that you need to go to the managing vaults yeah and in here after you're gonna click that click creating a vault and they're gonna show you what are the steps to do it the same one that I'm going to do it in here but also in here it should show the policies needed to creation of the vault okay vault keys and in here authentication authorization yeah so you have this page and you can see the policy references you click on this link and policy references you need to go to OCI vault details for vault service okay so based on that yeah you can go and create different policies yeah based on the things that you're gonna find in this one okay in my case I already have uh, the policies in place so I'm gonna click create vault yeah I'm gonna give it a name if you're gonna check make it a pre virtual private vault that means they're going to have a dedicated partition on the hsm so that means that you have to pay for it if you're going to create a normal vault yeah the price the first 20 keys are free of charge that you create in the vault and after that you pay uh, under one dollar per each key version that you're using okay and at the end you press press create vault okay now the vault enters in creation mode it's gonna take around four or five minutes yeah to have the vault created and that's it congratulations right now you have created your own vault i'll put it on pause yeah for the vault to be created and after that i'll show you how to create a key okay so my vault was created if i'm gonna click on the vault first step that i have to do in here is to create a master encryption key i'll click create the master encryption key in here that you see and I can choose between HSM and software. If I choose software, all the keys that I'm creating are free of charge. If I leave it at HSM, the keys that are created, yeah, the first 20 keys are free of charge. And after that, you're gonna pay for them for each key rotation that you have. I need to give it a name, yeah, in here, so I can name it, I don't know, uh, DB keys, because I want to use them for encryption. And in here, it's important to choose the right algorithm for this for encrypting storage yeah dd keys and so on you need to use an is key yeah and uh, we recommend to go with 256 bits now if the customer or you, you have your own key what you can do you can click import external key you put the data in here you know the external key data source in here and you can reuse it yeah inside the oci Usually this is something that customers, if they want to have full control on it, yeah, and uh, they do not want to say let Oracle generate the keys for you, this is the right way to go with it. We click create key. We're going to wait for uh, a few seconds until the key is created. And next step is to create a secret. Okay, a secret can be a password. Yeah, a secret can be any, I, I don't know, let's, it can be an SSH key. It can be a wallet yeah, for your autonomous database and so on. So if you want to keep them in a safe way these are the ways that you can do it we wait a few more seconds yeah for the key to create it so that's why i'll also stop it right now on pause it okay it was very fast yeah the key it is created under one minute usually i click on secrets after that i click on the secret that i have in here and i will name it let's say dbs and mp yeah i will use uh, i create a password for this user I will select the encryption key that I have in there and in here I will put my password in clear text yeah so in here yeah we have okay our password in clear 
text yeah so you can put something like this in the world itself yeah, it's gonna be a secret like this no one will be able to know it unless they are allowed to see what's happening in there and that's it yeah you click create secret now next step after the secret it is created yeah you have different services in OCA that are gonna use this service to connect uh, to other services yeah so in a very secure way without the need of entering credentials or something like that so later if you want to change yeah the password yeah that you see here you click view secrets you're gonna see the base 64 digit if you want to see the password itself you're gonna have it and show decoded but if you wanted to change you have a new password yeah yeah in here sorry for the typos but anyway yeah I'll click create a new secret version and yeah the new secret will be created as you can see it's the current the second version that we have in here you click secret versions you see the new password and so on congratulations you have created a vault you created a secret and also yeah you created the initial uh, encryption key that can be used for this see you on our next episode in the series thank you